Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the free space management. This is the continuation of the previous video. As we have seen that there are certain blocks which gets allocated and once the file work is completed or the file is deleted, that block is also freed. So we need to have a free space management that which block is free and can be allocated to a new file. For this purpose, free space list is a data structure or the concept which is used to keep track of all the free disk blocks. For example, I have created a simple uh, free list space list just for the explanation purpose. Now if there is a file say x of 150k and I have to allocate a space from this free space list. So what happens this x starts seeing the spaces or the system starts seeing the spaces in this free space list to allocate space to this file x. So let's say a 100k it is smaller than this so it cannot be allocated then we have b this is 200k so we will allocate this b to this x and remove this entry and remove this entry after allocation. So now the new free space list will contain entries only this much. This entry is deleted. Let us assume that there is also one file y which is having a space of location d of 500k and this file is now deleted. The user has deleted this file. Now this space will be freed after this file is deleted. So what the system will do? This is E actually because we have already have D here. For example this is E. So once the file is deleted we have to make an entry of this E in the free space list. So now the free space list will look like this. There will be one entry of the file deleted. So that is how this free space list works. Now free space list can be implemented in two different ways. One is to implement using bitmap or bit vector. In this single bit is used for representing the state of the block. So if the block is allocated then the bit is 0 and if the block is free then the bit is 1. So for example, let us consider a disk in which these blocks are allocated. So these blocks are allocated. So how I will represent it in the form of 0, 1. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Suppose this is the disk. So for 0, 0 is not allocated. So I will have so 0 is not allocated so I will have here 1 1 2 is allocated so 0 now 7 is also not allocated 1 8 is allocated 0 9 is not allocated 1 so that is how you can use bitmap vector to implement free space list Second approach is to link together all free disk blocks. So for example, if I have a disk like this and these are the blocks, these are the blocks and this blocks is free. These three blocks are free. So the approach is to link all these blocks and there will be a pointer in the uh, free space list that will point to the first block of the list. So that is how you can uh, implement your free space management. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such tutorials. Thank you.